the Sojal concept was conceptualized in 20, 2011 and uh, what happened was basically when uh, I was in Hyderabad uh, one day I saw that uh, a lot of uh, workers outside my house on the near the at the back side and they were uh, waiting their turn to fill water from the, my house they were all living in these slums according to the government those areas are illegal areas because they just come up so the government does not have a responsibility of providing electricity or water to them so in 2011 we conceptualized of we, we understood that there is a problem which go hand in hand there is a lack of electricity which generates lack of water and water scarcity which we understood was due to contamination was actually causing uh, poverty further down we realized the only way to tackle this would be to see both of them not just how to tackle the water problem but also how to tackle the, the electricity problem we, we had a lot of significant challenges the challenge that we faced was again with the how people use it we, we put coin acceptors and then our biggest challenge was that the government changed the thickness of the coin so now the coin acceptors are obsolete and have to uh, be able to receive all the type of different coins and people sometimes they get really frustrated when they put their coin in and the system is not able to read it. Uh, to overcome that we put the RFID sensor which we have the smart card. One more thing we had a challenge was was to expand the chilling system. We for initially we had put the chilling water system only for a site. I mean there's only a very small capacity of water that can be chilled. The challenge that we had was obviously energy, which uh, where to put how many panels and battery, how to make a hybrid system. These systems have a capacity of 2800 liters per day, the water that they can purify. And we are putting new systems uh, near the Uttar Pradesh. Uh, these systems are actually larger systems and they are completely solar powered and they actually are able to produce 5000 liters per day. Uh, the systems in the national capital region are cost uh, have the pricing of 1 rupee per liter of normal water and 2 rupee per liter for uh, cold water. So we go and we take water samples from the area and where we find water to be available but at a very contaminated quality. That is where we think that we should be able, we should set up the system because people have water but they cannot use it because of contamination maybe due to industrial you know, wastage and sewage or something. The, the population in this area they are at high risk from uh, you know waterborne diseases, diarrhea. So we we are targeting areas that are very high density areas because that gives us maximum impact to the people around it. We call it the center manager. So the center manager is somebody in that community where the system is being put. And so the person, uh, maybe a sort of a shop owner nearby, will be the one who will be uh, who will be our uh, person of contact in that area. He will he is the person who is supposed to sell the cards and maintain the system and call us and can get, notify us if there is any maintenance issues. We had a school workshop where we went to schools and to tell them how important water is and how important the, uh, it is that you, you actually drink clean water and make sure your utensils are clean where you fill water and the areas are clean. The first uh, pilot machines which were set up around national capital region were installed about a year ago. And now, currently, we are in the pipeline of installing other machines in Uttar Pradesh. People have actually now gradually started to appreciate the difference between the water, this water, and the other water. When they started drinking for this water, they realized that they actually realized that they started getting, you know, sick lesser and they started having stomach ache and other problems lesser. So uh, we've got a very good speed back. One thing we definitely that I spoke earlier we want to add is a bigger chilling machine because we realize that people want cold water more than they want normal water surprisingly because in terms of the, the, the water filtration process. So we want to make the filtration process even more strict. We want to make sure that the system is as efficient as possible so it does not waste energy anywhere. So our engineering channel right now is to make sure the system is very very efficient and it is able to utilize every bit of power that it gets. We also make sure that the, the water quality is maintained because again we want people to be assured of the water quality when they come to a Swajal center. We have uh, four centers in 
the national capital region. One more which is being installed, uh, in, which is in the pipeline. And another two more in Uttar Pradesh near Lucknow that, uh, that is actually being currently installed. And then there are about seven to ten more that are in the pipeline in different areas where the work is yet to, yet to begin. We want to expand Sojal into areas which might be disaster prone or areas which have very, maybe not as good as uh, infrastructure in, uh, in, the, in the grid. And uh, like the, the, our Ganga River, where you know pe people are drinking this water because the Ganga has become really filthy. We cannot fill the whole, clean the whole Ganga, but we can definitely clean the water before people you know take it to them their home as a holy water and maybe drink it.